What's up, everybody? My name is Flocka. If you look behind me, you'll see that I've done just a little bit of off-camera building. We we got our starter base in our LEGO Fortnite world, and uh, we're just not really done. It's still kind of a work in progress, which is why we're here today. I've still got to throw down an enormous runway, build a control tower that tickles the clouds, and uh, oh yeah, we got to get that vehicle bay in so that we can build the best storm fighting fleet in all of Lego so yeah just another crazy day at the office I hope that this masterpiece can weather the storm without any respawn shenanigans I'm gonna get in and start my runway this one is gonna be slightly different than all of the separate runways and roads that I've done we're gonna be doing it with sandstone Moise Isley floor pieces I'm just gonna hop in and I'll see you guys at the end So I've run out of sandstone, but luckily for me, the desert is literally 250 meters away. Uh, this seed is absolutely incredible. I might throw it down in the description for you guys because of the frostlands, it, like, it's, it's right there. So yeah, we're going to go up to the base and we're going to go grab the ink glider and we're going to go get some sand. Like I said, really not that far away, but we've got to be careful because there's a sand brute nearby. Wouldn't want to alert the authorities. Ah, leave me alone. You know what? I'm gonna go get your buddies. Yes. Oh, there's so many. Another one. Oh, that was close. And it was also the last bit of excitement I was gonna get for a long time because we had to take this sand and turn it into sandstone. And dude, this stone breaker, it's so slow. Just like, just cue the montage. Maybe you got something in your nose. Sniffing that K, did you feel the hole? Hope you find peace for yourself. New boyfriend ain't gonna fill the void. Oh my goodness, I honestly thought I was never gonna figure that out, but here we are. This is what we've got. We could make it a little bit longer, but I think this is fine and dandy. Uh, I've come to learn that I don't need the longest runway in the world, so we gotta put up the control tower now, you know? You're gonna do the two by two, you know, tower thing, and then we're gonna do like the lighthouse pieces again. Uh, pretty basic stuff, just threw some pieces to make it kind of look like uh, radars or whatever on top, put up a sign. I think it looks great. I think it looks good. I, just, I can't really complain. Don't need to add too much spice to it, uh, but we do need to add trim and lights onto our runway, uh, but we don't have any bright cores, so we need to take a quick trip out to the desert where I was gonna experience my first stamina glitch in a long time. Are you serious? Is this really a thing in the year 2024? Oh, I forgot my charms. Oh, I'm gonna die in here. See to meat pie for extra hearts. Let's get what we came for and get out. I don't have the ability to run away, so we gotta be so careful. Okay. Best to not get too greedy right now. Let's see what the tower looks like all the way around. Gotta get those lights in. But that is exactly why we went to go get some bright core. Now that we're back, we'll take care of those lights, but we really gotta get working on this airplane hangar. I wanted to do something unique. I wanted to try doing something with the rails. So we started off with uh, the noble stairs, which are really steep. And then we threw that lighthouse like curved cage piece on top. And I thought it looked really good. It added a cool effect. We put some roof pieces and some trim on. And this was the final result. 
This has got to be the greatest vehicle hanger I've ever made. I added some blue lights and some tinkerer lights here and there to really give it the look of a cool hanger. We'll add some more detail later, but man, this thing looks beautiful. There's plenty of space for a large aircraft, and I'm excited to create some more expert mode vehicles. And if you guys have been enjoying the content so far and you're excited as well, hit that sub button, ring the bell so that you never miss another piece of content that comes out of my buns ever again. I wanted to wait until daytime so that you guys could see the entire build clearly and see the exact size of how big this really is. Now, this mega build's not done. We've got serious plans. I wanna add maybe like a hillside village and then get the nuclear power plant down here. I'm not sure if the complexity is gonna let me do that. If not, I have alternative plans for where to place the village. Uh, and then we've got a huge farm to put in over here because there's a nice natural area. But yeah, we've got the airport in for transporting the mass amount of materials. And then we've got our personal command center in. So let's go ahead and park at the airport and show you guys what this looks like and everything that we've added. You'll see that we have all the workstations still set up for the villagers. Like I said, I have a village uh, plan, sort of, and we're gonna be moving this eventually, but for right now, it's my base of operations. We're gonna go up the path here that I've built that leads up to the command center. So we're gonna actually go around here and skip the inside of this. There's nothing special, just some storage and some workstations that I'm setting up. And we're just gonna go up to the top and show you the rest. All right, so here's the top of the command center. I'm calling this the Ancient Tree Command Post. You'll notice that this does look like an old stump. I've made the roots down, uh, buried into the side of the mountain, and I kind of gave it that look that it has been growing over the command center for a little bit of time, using those green shack pieces as a sort of like leaf to make it look like there are bushes up at the top of these twigs and these sticks. And I really like the way that this turned out. Now, um, I was a little skeptical about using so much sandstone on this build because it didn't really fit with the rest of the aesthetic, but I ended up using enough of it across the entirety of the build that I find it acceptable. It kind of fit into the palette. I think I did a really good job of just meshing all of the available colors together. Well, all the ones except for like blue and yellow uh, and making a nice themed build here. So up here is the control tower for my personal landing pad. Just a simple uh, log foundation, wood foundation, and then I used like fence pieces for the line if you're wondering how I got this one stud thick and then I used a mixture of like red lights red pieces and the brown pieces to kind of give that theme here that you're gonna see throughout the entire build so we go into the small little docking bay that I have for my ang glider and there's just some stuff here I'll be able to store power cells in here for my personal jet and then do all of that stuff that I need to have in here uh, coming out, there's not like a whole lot here. I just wanted to make like a cool looking post, uh, like a command post here. I didn't really want to add a whole bunch of functionality because most of that will be inside of the cave. Uh, what I wanted to do was build a large structure that looked like it was massively functional, but most of the functionality be within the cave to save myself some of that complexity so that we can build this as large as humanly possible. So uh, on the side here, I really just added some like rooftop stuff like to make it look like that we were, you know, up to some serious activities here. Um, some like storage bins and whatnot. Uh, putting those leaves all the way along the edge and um, not really bringing them to the front. I kind of wanted to make it look like it still had some, some ways to grow and maybe over time I'll add to it and make it something that evolves with the world. But who knows, who knows? Now I'm just yapping. Let's go into one of these command post towers here. They're nothing special. If you walk in, there is some sideways building use and some really cool detail that I like and I'm really proud of myself for incorporating. Uh, but nothing too crazy, just a little post for some command workers to help uh, run the operations of whatever I might have going on here within my expert run. So 
Like I said, nothing crazy. It really is just about the detail and the views and the way that it looks from a distance and just the sheer size and ambition that I went for when building this. And it's gonna end up being one of my favorite builds of all time. If you guys haven't checked out the original treehouse build, make sure you go check that out. I'll link that as well. And guys, we've got so much more left for you guys on the expert world, but thank you so much for watching. What an incredible build. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.